Hey everyone, this is Zach with AD20 Media here today with a video on signs and symptoms of a failing mass airflow sensor. Now, the mass airflow sensor of a vehicle is also commonly known as the MAF sensor for short, or simply referred to as the MAF sensor. And just as the name suggests, the mass airflow sensor is responsible for measuring the mass of air that's actually entering the engine. And that's very important for the engine to know the ECU, DME, or PCM as the car's computer is often referred to. It's very important for that computer to know how much air is actually entering the engine. That way the computer can determine the correct amount of fuel to inject into the engine. So ultimately when you run into mass airflow sensor problems, you can start to get a myriad of issues that are typically caused by incorrect or inconsistent air fuel ratios, which can lead to a whole host of symptoms and potential issues with the vehicle. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right in and discuss some of the most common signs and symptoms of a failing MAF sensor. Number one on the list here, we have the check engine light and fault codes stored in the computer. The mass airflow sensor is a sensor, it's electrical. On most modern cars, the PCM or the ECU should be able to detect a failing mass airflow sensor. And so it's very common for that to trigger a check engine light and store some fault codes within the computer when it does pick up on potential mass mass airflow sensor problems. So some common fault codes to be on the lookout for with that are P0100, P0101, P0102, P0103 are a few of the common ones. There are a couple other fault codes that can indicate the mass airflow sensor, but ultimately any of those codes are cause for concern and may point you in the right direction, showing that there is actually an issue with the mass airflow sensor. Now, as I mentioned towards the start of the video, when the engine can't properly determine how much air is entering the engine and can't determine how much fuel to inject, that leads to the air fuel ratios being inconsistent, sometimes wildly off, and that can ultimately throw some additional additional engine codes and engine warning lights. If you use an OBD2 scanner and check the computer, you may see fault codes for air fuel ratios indicating that it's too rich or too lean. You may also see codes related to engine misfires since improper air fuel ratios can lead to misfires. So a couple other things there, but ultimately the check engine light and fault codes are going to be one of the most common symptoms and one of the most helpful in identifying your mass airflow sensor problems. Moving on to symptom number two, we have hesitation, sputtering, stuttering, surging, jerking while accelerating and while the engine is under load. So any kind of weird feelings like that often are associated with mass airflow sensor problems because again, the engine is struggling to determine the proper air fuel ratios and the proper air and fuel mixture that's entering the combustion chamber. That can lead to misfires and ultimately just the car feeling off. And that's where you can start to notice a lot of that hesitation, stuttering, surging, jerking. Now, this is a symptom that can be common with a lot of other issues on a vehicle. So if this is really the only symptom you're noticing, it might not be the mass airflow sensor. There are tons of other common problems and maintenance items that can cause similar issues such as spark plugs, ignition coils, etc. So this alone isn't a guaranteed sign of a mass airflow sensor problem. But again, with those incorrect air fuel ratios and potential misfires due to that, it is a very common symptom that you'll notice alongside a mass airflow sensor problem. Moving on to symptom number three, we have hard starts and the vehicle stalling after the engine starts. The main reason for this is when the mass airflow sensor is failing, those air fuel ratios are off. If the air fuel ratios are off by enough, it's possible the engine can't maintain proper combustion to the point of actually being able to start the engine or keep the engine running. Now, this isn't a super common symptom because it does require that the air fuel ratios be pretty far out of line for the engine to actually not start or for it to start stalling after starting the engine. So not one of the most common symptoms, but definitely something to be on the lookout for, especially on older vehicles where they might be a little bit more reliant upon the mass airflow sensor, whereas newer engines have a lot more sensors, a lot more things going on, and the computers in general are a lot more intelligent. So they can typically maintain on newer vehicles much better air fuel ratios, even if it doesn't know the exact amount of air entering the engine. So again, not quite as common, but still something to be on the lookout for if you suspect you have mass airflow sensor problems. 
problems. Moving on to symptom number four of a failing mass airflow sensor, we have a rough idle or bouncing RPMs at idle. This is very similar to what I talked about with the stuttering, hesitation, jerking, surging while accelerating and while the engine is under load. The only difference here being that this is obviously at idle. So if you are noticing a rough idle or those bouncing RPMs, it again could be caused from the incorrect air fuel ratios or from misfires that are occurring because of the improper air fuel ratios. So rough idle, any kind of bouncing RPMs at idle. Rough idle is a symptom of a lot of different issues and problems with engines. So this won't directly point you to a mass airflow sensor, but if you have a couple of these signs and symptoms together alongside some fault codes indicating a mass airflow sensor, then something like rough idle could just be further confirmation that you are indeed experiencing some issues and failures with your mass airflow sensor. Moving on to symptom number five, last but not least, another common symptom of a failing mass airflow sensor are lean or rich air fuel ratios. That's really the main problem that comes from a mass airflow sensor issue is that your air fuel ratios get thrown out of balance. The engine starts running too lean or too rich. And it's really that that causes the whole other host of symptoms and issues that we just discussed, like the rough idle, surging, stuttering, all of that. So it's really those lean AFRs. Now I save this to discuss last on the list because most vehicles don't have any way to display air fuel ratios simply. So actually checking the air fuel ratios to see if they are out of line does require a little bit more diagnostics and some additional software. So if you have more advanced scanning software or a tune on your vehicle, you may be able to see and read those AFRs and see if anything is out of balance. Otherwise, it can be tough to tell exactly what your air fuel ratios are, apart from getting a fault code indicating that the air fuel ratios are either too lean or too rich. Anyway, that wraps up the five most common symptoms and signs of a failing mass airflow sensor. So finishing up the video here with a couple final pieces of information on diagnostics and actually fixing the mass airflow sensor. When it comes to diagnostics, the OBD2 scanner is really going to be your best bet, just plugging that into the OBD2 port, scanning for any fault codes stored in the computer. That's going to be the best way to actually pinpoint the mass airflow sensor issue. A lot of the other symptoms are also common symptoms for other problems and failures, so it's hard to pinpoint the mass airflow sensor specifically unless you are receiving a fault code for the MAF sensor. However, with that said, one of the easiest and simple fixes and ways to confirm that your mass airflow flow sensor is the problem. A lot of times they do fail simply due to the MAF sensor getting a little gunked up and getting a little dirty with age and mileage. And so simply cleaning the mass airflow sensor is one of the easiest ways to potentially fix the issue and at the least diagnose the issue and confirm that it is the mass airflow sensor. Pretty much any automotive parts store will sell MAF sensor cleaner. The mass airflow sensor itself is very accessible. It's located between the filter and the intake manifold, typically closer to the intake manifold, usually right on the top of the engine bay. Even those less experienced with DIYing and working on cars shouldn't have any issues removing the MAF sensor and at least trying to clean it. So again, super easy to get that mass airflow sensor cleaner, very easy to locate and simply cleaning that sensor will often solve the issues, at least in the shorter term. So it might not be a long-term fix, just cleaning it. If you clean the mass airflow sensor and the symptoms get a lot better and everything seems to be cleared up, that at least points you in the right direction that it was the mass airflow sensor. And again, even if it's just a short-term fix, that should at least keep you up and running for a little bit while you source the part and go ahead and get around to replacing the mass airflow sensor. Anyway, guys, that wraps up our video for today. If you appreciated the content, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and check out the description below for more awesome content. Thanks, guys.